Oh, man, I've, I've changed my predictions so many times, I feel like. But uh, I'm going to go with a third-round stoppage for uh, Charles. I thought Islam was going to win first, but um, I'm going to go this uh, with Makachev now. Ah, oh, man, I don't even know. I might even change the, change it tomorrow. It's just it's really hard to tell. It's such a good fight. Well, um, you know, you got the best pound-for-pound champ right now pound for pound number one guy offering himself up to be the the alternate so i'm assuming the ufc was like well that sounds pretty good to us we'll uh we'll, we'll take it so i'm i'm assuming that's what happened and uh i got the short end of the deal i don't know right now i i saturday's all on my mind you know that's the only thing that's on my mind i don't i don't know what's gonna happen in the future uh and um that's okay i'll i'll figure it out as they go yes i had a top 10 win i had a top five win and um at the time i defeated uh carlos diego six years undefeated and then i had an opportunity to fight uh tony ferguson and uh, everybody who beat Tony before that got a title shot. So I thought uh, I thought I was deserving. Yeah. Uh, honestly, no. I rather fight somebody um, who's better. I rather fight somebody who's uh, who has a winning record and is relevant and, and competitive. I don't really want to fight. Um, I don't. I don't think Connor is is really looking to fight. I don't think he's going to fight anytime soon. And with that being said, I, I, I want to fight the best guys in the world. It's a good question. Um, Diego was very good. He was very tough. He was a very hard fight. Um, I would say Drew Dober hit me the hardest. Um, who else was there? And, um, yeah, I would have to say uh, Diego was, was the hardest fight. I think uh, Dober hit me the hardest. And, and then Tony, Tony was just the strangest fight. I, I felt like I should be able to finish him, but I couldn't finish him. He's a stud. He's very good. In my opinion, he's top five. So that's why I wanted to fight him, to have an opportunity to fight somebody like that. I, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. So that's that's really what I'm that's what I'm excited about. I don't think he brings anything to the table that I haven't seen. I think what he does well is um he's able to mix up his game, you know, from striking to takedowns, from takedowns to feints to to you know, his overall game and, and his ability to implement his game plan, it's very good. So I think that's that's special about him, and uh, I look forward to uh, solving that puzzle. Uh, I don't think it plays uh, uh, into my uh, into my head. I what I really do enjoy is like breaking my opponents. So if I have an opportunity to break my opponent, like I I want to do that. And um, sometimes that's entertaining. Sometimes it might not be entertaining, but I, I genuinely enjoy, enjoy breaking my opponent. So I, 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 I do want a chance to, you know, break this guy just like everybody else. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, I think it, it makes sense based on merit. I feel like I've done, uh, I've done everything I'm supposed to do uh, as far as, uh, everything, um, everybody who was put in front of me. So I guess it makes sense. And I appreciate he recognizes that. Um, I feel better now than I did when I was younger. I can even train more than when I was younger. And it just, uh, it turned out getting older means getting smarter and better being able to handle, uh, my body and, 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 and the, and the stress it goes through. So that being said, uh, I think 31 was a great age for me, but I think right now is, is uh, the best I've ever been.